I'm doing it with all my heart and I hope que su camino that your journey sea florido. flourish. A couple nights of traditional Waramari song, poem, and prayer atop the Copper Canyons. Then we venture forward, but braving the single lane dirt road 11 miles down the canyon cliffside, it isn't for the lighthearted. This car went, Choo! Oh. You'll see that's fine. I'll pause and that's my move. One wrong move can, and has, sent lives plummeting 7,000 feet to the ground below. Nothing about the journey is easy, but perhaps that's the point. Are you first you over the day, see it? The hairpin turns, the never-ending switchbacks, the occasional passing truck maneuvering its way by, the cattle crossing the road. Okay. Sometimes the greatest adventures are those that take time, effort, and a whole lot of risk. Eureka. According to author Christopher McDougall, it's a tiny lost world village sitting alone at the bottom of the canyon, like a pebble at the bottom of a well. And he isn't wrong. Arriving in Eureka is like transporting to another time, another dimension. It's like being let in on a secret. We're down in the center of Eureka, in front of the municipality. As you can see, they're getting ready. There's an excitement in the air for the race, both tomorrow, the kids' race, and for Sunday, the ultra and the marathon. Headed to the famous moment. Das. A little bite. See you guys, Ryan. See? Hello. Hello, Matita. Hello, Matita. For years, Mama Tita's was the only restaurant in town. It was around these tables that Micah True, the Caballo Blanco, first dared to organize the race that would pit the Raramari against foreign ultra runners in a friendly competition. A little lunch, and then it's time to get to work. I'm Kara Lupin with the 100 Mile Club. And we are here today in Urique, Chihuahua, Mexico, getting ready for the kids' race, La Carrera de los Caballitos, uh, tomorrow. And we have all these t-shirts that we're going to give to kids who come to run the run of the little horses, which is the day before the big, big race. And we are so excited. Can't wait for tomorrow. It gives you an end goal. Yes. So it's not like, oh, you're not just running a mile a day, you're running a hundred miles yeah. over the course of a school year. You, you mark it. Take a, take a cross. Yeah, you put a cross. Yeah, right. And then when they get to 50, we mark it 75 and 100. And then they know they're going to get a gold medal at the end of the year. But some of our kids make 100 miles like right now. I have a lot of here. kids. So then we put another down here. Sometimes we add boxes. But really, the ultimate goal is 100. As the Roramari from all across the canyons begin to trickle into town, we take a short walk to our lodgings. His first ride. Oh, don't pull. Yeah. Enter Entre Amigos, the Garden of Eden in this lost world. A sanctuary of peace, calm, and tranquility. 
It's home here in Eureka. Casitas, hostel, campgrounds. It's a community gathering place for like-minded Moss Locos. Those who see things, others don't. And yes, the crazy people. It's a Friday night out in Eureka before the festivities begin. Early, early on a Saturday morning. Good morning, it's the morning of the kids race here in Eureka. Congrats. <laughs> Next time, we celebrate the past while diving into an epic journey, making memories that last a lifetime. So what do you guys think? What do you think of the lost kingdom of Mexico? Would you brave the adventure to get down to Eureka? Would you survive the 11 mile single lane road down the side of the mountain? I barely did. Let me know in the comments down below. And please, if you found this video entertaining, informative, useful, I don't know, you just enjoyed watching it, please consider subscribing. Tap that button down below. It helps me figure out what you guys appreciate, what you guys like, and it helps grow our community because together we're exploring the luxury of adventure. So until next time, thank you guys for joining and I will see you here soon.